Hello there. My name is Ibukwan Kim, and we'll be talking about topic resolution in the Ultra Messaging Streaming product. This video will describe and demonstrate topic resolution. Topic resolution is the discovery of a topic's transport session information by a receiver to enable the receipt of topic messages sent on the transport. Topic resolution messages are multicast to an address and port by default. Alternatively, they could be distributed via UDP unicast by a resolver dealer. Topic resolution messages include TIRs and TQRs. TIRs are advertisements sent by the source and they contain transport, transport information needed by the receivers. TQRs are sent by receivers and they query for topics of interest. Topic resolution is implemented in three phases for efficiency. There's an initial aggressive phase that's designed for quick resolution. There's a sustaining phase that ramps down on that traffic, and a quiescent phase in which there's no traffic activity. Next, we'll demonstrate topic resolution by looking at packets in Wireshark, and we'll also take a brief look at the debug logs. For, but for more information, please refer to the topic resolution section of the Ultra Messaging Concepts Guide. In addition, there are quite a number of topic TR uh, articles in the knowledge base. Uh, please be sure to check this out. This is my 64-bit Linux VM, and I set up uh, a debug mask of hex18 to store uh, TR traffic in this file called LBM Developer. And I'm going to be running the, my LBM source application. And it will be sending 10 messages, pausing a second each time. It will delay 70 seconds before the first message is being sent out. And this is my topic, the topic that's going to be sent out to me. Before that, I'm going to set up Wireshark. There we go. Those are TIRs. If you notice the first line, it's an EXE type context information message. Those messages are needed by uh, gateways and stores, which we're not using in the streaming product, uh, or at least in this demo. Uh, but the server is good markers because they go out every 10 seconds, and they'll help to illustrate uh, the different phases of topic resolution. While that is running, uh, I just want to take a brief look at the debug. So it shows uh, the tear packets being sent out. And it could be useful, for example, in environments that don't have Wireshark up and running. Let's go back to Wireshark capture. And there we go. Uh, topic resolution is still going on. Um, as you can see in the first phase, there are quite a number of TIR uh, packets being sent out. That's between the first 10 seconds. And uh, subsequent to that, there are less TIR packets being sent out. Of course, that will mark the initial phase, and the following will be the sustained phase of TR. Finally, after about 65 seconds, there are no more packets being sent out. Uh, no more of those TIRs being sent out. And that will be the quiescent phase of TR. Next, we'll look at the resolver daemon. Here's my RD command. And uh, it's going to be, it's using this interface and port. And if you look at my configuration file, uh, this is all that's in my configuration file. It's just ref referencing the resolver Unicast demon that's running. And everything else is set to default. And, uh, source references that file, and the receiver also references that file. I'm going to get my Wireshark to start capturing again. My source, and my receiver. Now in Wireshark, we're looking for two things. I'm going to, so I'm going to stop this. And uh, So the first thing that's of interest is Keep alive messages. Now, this is a keep alive message. It's neither a TQR or a TIR. 
Uh, but it's needed by the resolver demand uh, to keep in touch with the sources and receivers that it's going to um, fan out those messages to. Um, the other thing that is of interest will be the TQRs, which we, we had seen TRS before, but we hadn't seen TQRs, and hopefully I can find one. There it is. And those, uh, those contain the topics that are being sent out. My topic, topic. Now, I want to run a large number of sources in a context using the LBM M source application. Let me start this. LBM M source, 10,000 sources. This will keep going for quite a bit. And all I want to show here is that uh, there will be topic resolution traffic well beyond the 65 second mark. And the reason for this is that there are quite a number of sources in the context, and the generated traffic will be throttled by the rate limiter defaults. And as such, take a longer time for all sources to achieve quiescence. Now, uh, if you notice, all the TIRs are being batched for efficiency. Um, it is very important to note that topic resolution is, is uh, tunable. There are configuration options that enable you to turn this phase, turn the different phases on and off, and to some extent, the type they they can determine the type of activity you want to occur within each phase. In fact, uh, configuration options can be assigned programmatically on a per topic basis. And uh, before I forget, I should mention that there is a function called LBM Context Topic Resolution Request that can be used to poke quiescent sources and receivers for a response by sending uh, TR requests. Okay, there we go. We are well beyond the 65 second mark. And as you can see, TIRs are still being batched. And I'm going to stop this for a minute. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you. And um, that is, we're going to run the LBM source and monitor the context every second. And um, the context information also has contains uh, TR traffic, as you will see. So I'm running my source, and this is my LBM one command that will monitor that context. And as you can see, we can see TR uh, datagrams statistics being generated. Now that's about it for the demo. And in summary, uh, topic resolution enables receivers to discover a sources topic transport session information so that the receivers can receive the messages. Publishers or sources advertise using TIRs. Receivers or subscribers query using TQRs. Topic resolution is multicast by default. A unicast resolution is possible using the resolver data. There are three phases for topic resolution activity. There's initial, sustain, and quiescent. The initial phase is very aggressive and which is reduced in the sustaining phase and TR activity stops at the quiescent phase. TR traffic is very tunable and should be tuned for connectivity so that sources and receivers can find each other, resolution time, and for the amount of TR traffic. Topic resolution rate limiters can extend topic resolution time if there are a large number of sources and receivers in the context, and that should be taken into account. Thank you very much. Uh, we would love to hear from you. You send us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com or check us out at a Twitter feed.